Well, good evening, folks. If you just tuned in, and welcome to our it's the final fight of the evening, six round contest. It's a local derby contest between Ryan Dickens in the blue corner, Connor Dould in, in the red corner. Commentating tonight, myself, Mike Acton Gormley, um, and the guest commentator, Matty Rennie. So, interesting fight this tonight, Matt. Two local lads, two Liverpool lads, local derby. Obviously, only a six rounder, but it's a bit of a bragging right to the city, really, isn't it? Yeah, it's um, VIP, based VIP, which we always make good fights, don't they, when you join them together? We do, yeah. Um, I mean, so far in these two, two kids' career, I mean, both had sort of similar opponents so far. A um, bit of a test for both of them, really. It's a, I, I would say it's a bit of a, a bit of a measuring stick to see where they are in their careers and how far they're going to go, basically. Yeah, they've got uh, even records. I think they both had the same defeat against the same opponent. Exactly, yeah, Serge and Bomo are both last time out, so they're both coming off a loss to the same opponent. So, yeah, very interesting. Looks like both kids are not prepared to take a step back. Yeah, it's a cold fire quite quick, this one. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it can be a bit of an undoing that, can it, for either fighter? I think they just need to settle down and maybe get on with a boxing, but uh, going head to head straight from the off. Dickens I think I'll, I'll be, obviously. Sorry, Matt, are you going to say? Yeah, I was just saying Dickens is using his jab well, but just needs to move his head a little bit more off it. Where you've got Connors moving his head quite a lot, but he's not throwing much with it. Yeah, two two different styles there, isn't it? Like you said, Dickens got a fantastic jab. Um, Goulding, more the sort of rough and ready kind of fighter. It's a it's a good mix for a for a great fight. Yeah, good left hook there from Dickens. Connor's not taking a step back, is he? No, he's just letting both hands go, isn't he? He's, uh, he's got a nice, quite quite tight defence as well, Goulding. Like you said earlier as well, he moves his head a little bit better than Dickens. Dickens a bit, a little bit rigid and upright. I'd like to see him relax a little bit more yeah. around Dickens and just get, you know, get on his toes a little bit and use his boxing skills. The body shots there. But there you go, that's what I mean by the right hand there, with that landed by, landed by Connor. Dickens has not much head movement. I think if he just bobs and weaves a little bit more. His, his chin's in the air, isn't it? You know, when he throws that jab, he's quite rigid and quite upright when he throws that jab. Just needs to tuck his shoulders, I think. Get, you know, get his shoulder behind that jab. The tight round, though. Very, very hard round to score. Both done there. Uh, good work. Wow. If he goes from the back foot, then it'll work better for him. Where at the minute, he's sort of stuck in two. Yeah, I get what you're saying. He, you know, he doesn't he doesn't know how to work, work and move yeah. or stand and trade. Yeah. He's, he's caught between the devil and the deep blue sea, really, isn't he there? And like I said earlier, I'd like to just see him getting his toes a little bit. Try and work some angles. At the minute, they both stood square on with each other and just letting, letting bombs go, really. And for, again, for me, look, looking at it, it kind of seems just stronger. He's the more mature kid. You know, he's a little bit older. I think there's a few years difference in the two kids. Not a great deal. So maturity, I think, more on Goulding's side. Yep. Again, it's, they're, just, they're just not taking a backward step, are they? No, they're not. No, no. And again, it's a lot of single shots, though, you know. I think, again, it, it just throw a couple of twos and threes to try and set a couple of shots up. Good shot there. Good over right, uh, right hand there by Dickens. And again. Lovely left up by Goulding as well, you know, it's tit for tat, isn't it? They're both trading big shots. I think Ryan's having a bit of success there.
I think Connor was hurt there. Yeah, I think he's definitely hurt there. He got, he got caught with good two or, two or three left ducks there. Probably the best. This is the time now for Ryan to to shed the, to shed the big punch up. He's, he's, uh, you don't want to tie yourself out here. Yeah, they're, they're still both looking for the, that single big shot, aren't they? They're yeah. not setting up. I think if Ryan gets back to his jab here, he could uh, he could find the, the perfect punch then. Yeah, I think I think Ryan's got to be careful he doesn't tire himself out because if he kind of catches a lot of these on his gloves, then it's, it's I think it's going to be retaliation time. I think Ryan getting told off for uh, holding the left hand out there. Yeah, see both guys just walk straight back into the centre of the ring. Back to the same old story, you know, let their hands go. Even though there's some good shots being thrown there, Matt, you know, it's not, it's not very... Um, Big shot there. There's no sort of game plan, is there? It's just it's just a slugfest at the minute. Yeah, there's not uh, not more thought thought going into anything at the minute. I do you think Ryan's won this round? But I think he's, yeah, he's, he's, got, he's worked very hard to win it. Great fight for the band there. Great fight for the fans. Yeah, I mean we've had two rounds and it's been non-stop action. See, that's a little bit better from Ryan yeah. there. If he just stays that half a step away, he just uses his jump. Yeah, definitely. Needs to get his head off to an angle too when he throws that jab, get off the firing line. And when he's holding that left hand, there's nothing else coming from it. So he needs to fire that right hand straight over the left. Yeah, he's just, he's not moving as he, when he throws that jab, he stays in the pocket, doesn't he? So he's, he's open then to a like, a, a counter shot yeah. from Goulding. Both guys have put everything into that first two rounds. I think it has settled down a little bit now. <laughs> I think I spoke too soon there. See, I think Ryan there, we popped three jabs. He could just move then. You know, get, off, get out of the way. He doesn't need to do any more work. He's landed three jabs. He could, he could get off. Yeah, change his angle. Yeah. See there, I mean, he did, he did that for a split second and he's, he said he threw the jab, he stepped off to the right, then he threw, he threw I think, the backhand of the other cut there. Yeah. And then he just went back, back stood in it. front of him again. And I think that's playing into Connor's, to Connor's hand because Connor's clearly the come forward fighter. He's not going to take a step back. And if, if Ryan's not going to move his feet, then it's going to be easier for Connor to find him. Yeah, I think you know. I think so far now. I think the game plan's going out the window for both guys. If that's if they had one at the beginning of the fight, he's just. I think you know they both they both tired already. It's the third round, which yeah, totally understandable the way the pace the pace of the fight's gone. Yeah. I do think again it's been a good round from Ryan. I, th I think he's landed the better, cleaner shots this round. I think the pace has settled a bit more. Shooting Ryan, I think Connor needs to try to up the pace more to make it uncomfortable for him. Yeah, he's caught Gilding really there with some good overhand rights and that, that uppercut through the middle as well, he's had a lot of success with that. Work and move, work and move. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you there. Um, I think Connor has to, to up the page more, has to get on his chest, make it uncomfortable for him. 
Exactly, but, yeah. I think when, when Connor's close there, when he gets the opportunity and they come in close, I think Connor just needs to let his hands go. Yeah, like this range now, the box and that's perfect for Ryan. He's got a good jab. I think if he takes, if he throws his jab and takes one step back and pops the right, I think that would work perfectly. As you know, Matt, you know, from uh, you know, having a good amateur career as well, and having the amateur fights, it's the pros a different game. But again, Ryan, you know, he's had the experience. He's been a good amateur. You know, he's, he's won a, a few championships, the nationals, stuff like that. Um, so he's obviously had to be lively on his feet. And I know you'd have to settle down a bit on the pros, but he has got that in the tank. You know, he has got it in the bank, the tank, where he has the ability to move and get on his toes. Connor, obviously. Um, I think he had a limited amateur career, seven fights, seven amateur fights. This is a seventh pro fight. Just looking at a few of them body shots, they look like they're taking the toll now. Um, Connor, Connor showing back, but there's not, doesn't look like there's much behind it. Connor's punches where Ryan looks like he's digging in a little bit more. Look, it's looking like Ryan feels like he's got Connor going there. Yeah. He's got to be careful he doesn't burn himself out. He threw a lot of shots there. Yeah, which, you know, the work the work he was doing just before that was good. It wasn't, it wasn't, he was being a bit more economical with his work. It wasn't just wasting energy where you look at them 10, 15 punches he threw there. Not much landed. But these little two and three punches, these are the ones that are making the difference when he's just setting the punches up. Slightly better work there by Gildin. Both Wigan in the body shots again. This has been a closer round, but I'm still I'm still edging towards them, um, Ryan. I just, I just think his work's a little bit clearer. Yeah, lovely of a cut by Gouldy there on the inside, just as you said that. Yeah, totally agree. I think Ryan had a, had a good a good first half of the round. Yeah. Con Connor's, Connor's definitely made a statement in that round, but it's just not enough to win it for me. Throw this, throw that, do that, and you, and you think to yourself, I'm trying to. Yeah. You, sometimes you just can't get that shot off, can you? It's a very good fight, this, for the crowd, though. They're, they're, uh, they're getting the money's worth for this fight. Yeah, I mean, I think the first two rounds, it kind of set it up, basically, for, you know, for what everybody was expecting. I think everybody expected it to be a tough fight for both guys. They were both on similar records. They, they obviously, it's the, I think this is the first stepping stone, really. Yeah. Good shot there by Connor. So again, that, you know, that's nice there from Ryan. When Connor comes in, all he just needs to do is take that little step back or just step off to the side and make Connor miss and then set yourself up again. Yeah. You know, typical Connor, that, that's his style, that's Connor's style. He'll just come forward and come forward, you know, and he'll throw his shots, he'll look for single shots. Yeah, again, I think Connor could maybe have more of a thought process when he is coming forward, maybe bobbing and weaving, slipping, sliding. Instead of coming in, just in a straight, right there. It's too easy to, to land punches there, where if he's coming with his head moving, he's harder to land. If you look at Ryan there, he's moving his head a bit more and the punches are not landing as clean as Ryan's are and Connor. Yeah, Connor's just kind of tucking up, isn't he? And coming yeah. forward, just leaning, he's leaning into shots, basically. Yeah. And that's why Ryan's had a lot of success with that uppercut. I mean, we, I mean, we're taught the basics, aren't we? You know, in the amateurs or even in the pros and stuff, it's the basic stuff. You know, move, move your head, slip, roll, basic stuff. 
I think, you know, again, both guys, I think it's just a bit of pride, isn't it? They just both want to get stuck in and basically show the strength. See, that's, that's better by Ryan, that. Moving his head as well. This is, this is more of his amateur style coming into play a bit there. Yeah. Well, that's a lot better from Goulding. That's what he needs to do. He needs to keep applying that pressure. Well, both lads having a little bit of success again, I think. I don't know, Matty, you might agree with me. I think Ryan again, this even this round, I think he's had a little bit more success than Goulding. Yeah, I, I agree. I think I think it just comes down to the, the, the cleaner work. Um, Goulding, Goulding, he's working hard and he's pushing the fight, but the cleaner work and the better work for me is just coming off Ryan. Yeah, I, 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 you know, if the ref's seen it the way we see it, I think Ryan just kind of crept away with the rounds. And Conan just needs to put a good performance now. See, it's been it's been a competitive fight the whole way through. It's just I feel just think the better work's come from Ryan. But Connor's Connor's pushed him the whole way. Yeah, I th you know, I think whichever whichever way the fight goes, whoever gets the hand held up at the end of the fight, you know, totally deserve it. Do you know what, Matty? It depends what the referee's looking at. You could even get a draw out of this. I don't think so personally, but I've, we've seen, as you've probably seen yourself, you see some decisions, you think, wow, where's that come from? But, yeah, for, for me, it, it's 4-1 four, four going into the last round to Dickens. Yeah, um, I've got, but I, I've, I, as I said, it, you, you don't know the, the ref's got the best uh, view in there. He's he's up close to it, but yeah, we are, we are actually privileged that way. You know, we're set up here on the sort of commentary table. We've got a bird eye view of everything, so we can actually see what's going on. These lads will certainly know they've been in a fight when they wake up tomorrow morning. Get the ice packs ready. Do you think Conan needs to let his hands go now? As soon as he gets close to Dickens, he just needs to let his hands go. Where I think Dickens just could uh, just get back. He doesn't need to be there. He can get onto his job and get moving. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think he's, for me again, I think he's won the fight. Just get on your toes, box, work, work and move. Look good, finish the fight off, you know, looking fresh, looking good. But they're, they're both they both learn so much from this fight. You see here's Connor Connor's throwing at everything at him now. Yeah, I mean I was having a conversation um before this fight when the, even when the match was made, you know, for both fighters, whoever wins, whoever loses, obviously the one who wins probably can kind of step up a little bit. And the one who loses, you know, I still think they can still come back because it because it's such a close fight. Yeah. You know, on the both equal record, I still think either one, you know, can kind of still move on a little bit. The, the learning fight, if you, whoever loses from this, if you go back, you know, you go back to the gym and you start working hard again, you've just got to keep that ambition and keep moving forward. It's a massive learning fight for both lads. I think, I think as the fight settled down, I do think Ryan grew into the fight in terms of, I think he's, He's showing something a little bit different tonight than he, than he has done previously. I don't know, I've been quite impressed with him, to be honest. Yeah, so I, I agree with that also. I mean, obviously, I've agreed with a lot of things you said, but rightly so. Again, Ryan, he's been a bit tame in a lot of his fights, Ryan, but tonight he's had to dig in a little bit. You know, he has had to tough it out. He has had to get stuck in. So, yeah, all credit to him. Both guys, fantastic fight and great entertainment for the crowd. Exactly. It was quite hard to score that last round, actually. Good work from both men in the last round. But, um, yeah, I, I, think, I think Dickens, for me, just, just edges the fight. 
Yeah, I mean, do you, do you think if that fight happened again, it'd be any different? Oh, definitely. I, I think they'll both learn from it. I don't think it would start off as quick as it did. Yeah. Um, maybe if it was over eight rounds, another two. The, um, the, the, but like I said before, they'll, they'll both learn from this massively. And I don't think even whoever loses this fight, it's not it's not the end of the world for them. But they, they'll, they'll, they'll come from they'll come back from it. Yeah, absolutely. You know, two great performances, different styles. I, I think they both did absolutely well. Again, I think Dickens for me edged it. Um, as I say, edged it probably by two or three rounds. But Gildin, as I say, he's, he's a raw lad, isn't he? You know, he's. He's a bit of a novice regarding yeah, well, how much on the pros. It takes two to tangle, doesn't it? So yeah. he's played more than his part tonight. Yeah, so I think the right result there, Matty. Um, I think working that one out, 50, 59, 56. Sounds like yeah, four, sounds, four, four to one in a draw. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Some of the rounds were quite close. Um, Connor constantly pushed the fight, get, pushed the fight to buy in. Um, but I do think the, the right winner won. For all boxing. Info, news and latest interviews, Amateur and Pro, across the north, click on subscribe. VIP, Boxing Promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.